What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm taking you guys on another trip to the thrift and I've been coming up on a lot of heat lately. My store definitely needs some replenishing because I need to do some listing but as you guys know I love thrifting and I go just about every single day. So if you guys haven't already make sure that you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we hitting up the shoe section first and I came across this pair of Adidas Ultra Boost and these are in pretty good condition. The midsole did have some yellowing but nothing too serious and it was also missing a shoelace but since they were only asking 8 bucks and some change, I figured I might as well grab these up and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come up on another pair of these shoelaces but it looks like those could fit me so if I don't sell those for maybe 70 to 80 bucks, I'll probably just keep them for myself. Next up, I came up on this pair of LeBrons but they were asking 60 bucks for these and these lebrons in particular don't sell for too much profit definitely they sell for right around 60 bucks if that so i had to pass on those and just grab up those ultra boosts Next found this pair of Nike Freeze 5.0s and I thought this was a pair of Nike Prestos at first but once I realized it was just a pair of Nike Freeze I ended up passing on those but once I looked up again I realized that there were a pair of Kobe's in here in pretty good condition as you guys can see the midsole was pretty yellow but overall these were in pretty good shape so they didn't have a price tag on these but they ended up letting them go for only 9 bucks so I had to grab this pair up. Uh, next was another pair of Kobe's I think somebody just left these at the register and these were actually $19 and these don't sell for that much profit um, some people have these listed pretty high on eBay um, some people have it listed for like a hundred or more uh, just checking the comps on eBay in terms of the style code they were selling for right around 40 to 50 bucks but since these were in pretty good condition I'm probably just gonna go ahead and still grab these up mainly because I don't come up on Kobe's too often so next went to the electronic section and I think this was just a bunch of computer stuff a bunch of chips and uh, it looks like it says wire PCI adapter a bunch of stuff I have no clue what this was drop a comment if you guys think I probably should have took a chance on any of these things um, once I walked around the store just a couple more minutes somebody else right behind me grabbed this up and they were pretty excited so I don't know if this is something that was worth grabbing up and worth taking a chance on but for me since I'm not too knowledgeable on it and it looked like something could possibly be missing I just ended up passing on it so thrift store number two and I came up on some to noise speakers never seen this brand before so drop a comment if you guys are more familiar with this brand than I am I was trying to see if I can find a model number or even a serial number or something but there were no numbers on here at all no names so I'm, I just checked the comps briefly on eBay all I did was type into noise speakers and I seen some sell for like a thousand bucks then I seen some other sell for like a hundred to two hundred so I'm definitely not sure what I'm gonna price these at I might have to do some more research once I get home but I'm definitely gonna have to grab these up and they didn't have a price tag on the bag and the person at the register gave them to me for three bucks so that was a steal uh, next came up on this guitar amp and as you guys know I'm trying to get into the guitar well at least that was my plan but at first I seen that they were asking 60 bucks for this so I ended up passing on it only because it was a little too expensive and I've seen guitar amps that were um, just just better quality and I've seen them for a lot less but I had to grab up this set of Bose computer speakers as you guys know I'm always grabbing these up they usually sell for around 50 to 60 bucks for me and this one was in really good shape so these should sell maybe close to that $50 mark but at the end of the day, I definitely got to grab those up for only $5. Alright y'all, so thrift store number 3. Had to go back to this one. I'm just trying to make this video as jam-packed as possible for you guys. Came up on two of these Guitar Heroes for the Wii. And the one that I'm grabbing up now, that one is in good shape. But this one, the spring is broken. So I'm going to have to pass on that one. But the one that's in better condition, probably should get somewhere between maybe 40 to 50 bucks. I didn't check the comps, but I just always grab up Guitar Hero guitars. Next came up on two of these Clever Crates. They're basically just like foldable crates and they were asking $6.50 a piece but these crates are just really dope in my opinion and I'm always in need of more bins just to kind of keep my inventory nice and tidy. So I'm definitely going to use these for probably the unprocessed stuff that I pick up. So I'm definitely grabbing both of those. So as you guys know I've been picking up a ton of roller skates lately because they're selling for a ton of profit and the brand on this particular pair is called Vanilla Junior. Um, they're in pretty rough shape and they were asking $7.50 for these but just after 
briefly check in the comps on eBay, I was seeing these selling for like 150 to as high as 200 bucks. Probably in this condition, I'll probably get somewhere or maybe 80 to 60 bucks, somewhere around there, but I'm definitely gonna have to grab those up for only 750. And here was a pair of Hoka's. If you guys remember, if you guys follow the channel when I used to live in California, I used to come up on Hoka's just about every single day. But now since I'm in Arizona, Hoka's are kind of kind of rare out here, but definitely gonna have to grab these up these are pretty clean and uh, I'm probably gonna have to clean them up once again probably throw them in the washing machine or something but I should be able to get maybe 80 bucks for these once I get them all nice and cleaned up so they had a few good shoes in here so let me just run through some of these kind of quickly for you guys came up on some keen sandals and they were asking 1270 for these but I usually try to spend closer to like five bucks for these keen sandals but since they're in season and these will probably sell really quickly for right around 40 to 50 bucks I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and grab these up and they're pretty clean so I don't I probably won't even need to clean these up probably just a quick wipe down and here was another pair of Kobe's um, these probably also need some cleaning I'll probably have to scrub these up a little bit especially around the toe box area to kind of get them looking fresh again but these Kobe's are in pretty good condition overall for me and size eight and a half probably not the best size but it should still sell in a decent amount of time and they didn't have a price tag on these so once I got to the register they gave them to me for nine dollars so definitely a good price on no so I was happy with that but like I said um, these Kobe's are definitely gonna need to get clean before I'm able to ask any any real money for those next up came up on one of these Netgear routers and I find these pretty often but this one was actually missing one of the antennas and it was also missing the power cord but the funny thing is I'm actually still gonna go ahead and grab this up only because I find it so often it's only a matter of time until I find another one of those antennas and the power cord and since it's only 550 I figured I might as well just take a chance on it it'll it'll still bring in some decent profit once it's sold and here was a Garmin I believe this one was the Garmin 1300 um, I usually pass on these but this one looked like it was in really good shape it still had this this factory sticker on top of it but after checking on the inside of the box I realized that some stuff was missing from the on the inside so ended up passing on it especially since it would only sell for maybe 20 bucks in that condition and here was one of those Microsoft ergonomic keyboards anytime I find these even if some of the letters are rubbed off I still grab these up but as you guys can see this one was in really good shape just kind of dusty and since it was 550 I'm definitely gonna grab this one up and they usually sell for right around 40 to 45 bucks for me um, I've sold some for a little more profit um, since this one does have all the keys and they're not rubbed off I'll probably charge maybe 50 bucks for that one so at first glance I thought this was one of those Apple keyboards that I tend to find pretty often but the brand on this was actually Macaulay so I ended up passing on this one um, the comps were not terrible I seen some sell for about 20 to 25 bucks but since it wasn't an Apple keyboard and the comps were kind of weak I ended up passing on it but speaking of Apple products this was actually the Apple wireless mouse I think this was the magic mouse that actually charges with the USB cord so this was a really good find I actually just bought one of these in black from on eBay a couple days ago uh, for my own setup so I should be able to get maybe 40 bucks for this because that's what I ended up paying for the black one so we will see as long as that one works and this is a brand that I don't tend to find pretty often but anytime I do find it I usually always grab it up Psycho Bunny is one of those brands that sell for a decent amount of profit for me as you guys know I don't pick up that much clothing anymore but these pair of shorts should sell for right around 40 bucks might not sell super fast but when it does I'll be happy all right y'all that's all I have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button it definitely helps the channel grow and also drop a comment let me know which one was your favorite find of the day personally I love those Kobe's surprisingly um, I, I usually wear like a size 10 and a half 11 and those Kobe's as you guys seen was a size 10 and it's surprising they fit me perfectly probably because they don't have the insole on the inside but it is what it is I'm definitely still gonna rock out with those and I think what I'm gonna do is get some salon care 40 and just kind of turn that yellow midsole back to white just so that they can look really nice and fresh for the summer because as you guys know it's super hot in Arizona and you kind of need those shoes with, with kind of like a knitted material so I'm definitely going to get a lot of wears out of those this summer and of course my other favorite pickup was just that crate that I can use for storage for the garage because as you guys know I'm picking up a ton of stuff and I definitely need to just have a really good inventory system and those foldable crates are perfect so I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that as well but like I said drop a comment let me know which one was your favorite find and I'll see you guys in the next one peace for the winner, cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner, mood just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I should've never offered it.
I'm tight and now I'm off this I'm shit. Tight, off this you shit. wanna be a real one? Uh. Earn the bases hard, I still want. Tired of wasting.